Hey guys, and welcome back to Tome Plays NetHack. Uh, last episode, we entered Gehenna. Uh, we are officially in the late game. And um, let's see what we've seen so far. Look at our dungeon overview. Um, Valley of the Dead we did a while ago. That's what level 29 is there. Level 32, a fountain. It's interesting that it doesn't note that that's a swamp level or anything. Because that was Jubilux's swamp. And we're now on level 35. Uh, we did dispatch with Jubilix, by the way. One of the... Uh, I don't remember if they're a lord or a prince. I think it's a demon lord. Uh, but they inhabit Gehenna. There's a number of special levels like that. And I believe we're on one now. Let me cast Detect Monsters. And, yep. Got good old Asmodeus here. Um, I'm just going to bribe him, I think. I don't know, you guys want to kill him? We can kill Asmodeus, why not? Make sure you have cold resistance if you decide to fight Asmodeus, which I believe I do. Um, if the, <laughs> the engraving I put into this lizard corpse I've been carrying around um, has any truth to it, then I do have cold resistance. Um, he has an absurdly powerful cold attack. It, it can do like over 100 damage. It's, it's silly, and it will probably kill you if you're not prepared for it. Most people have cold resistance by this point, so it catches a lot of even experienced players off guard, I think. Um, but you you don't want to get a, a splat this late in the game, so just make sure you have cold resistance when you deal with them. I mean, he usually has a wand of fire and a wand of cold, I believe, um, that he'll use against you first. Um, otherwise, if you have cold resistance, he's really like the wimpiest demon lord. Um... And some strategies even involve just like keeping him alive. Um, you can map Gehenna due to his movement pattern, um, Covetous, so he teleports to the stairs. So if you bring him down to the bottom level of Gehenna, you can just follow him back up and find the stairs pretty easily. Um, in older versions of the game, if you brought him into Moloch's Sanctum, he would go and kill the um, High Priest of Moloch for you and retrieve the Amulet of Yendor and bring it right to you. Um, it was a very easy way to deal with a very difficult, difficult part of the game. Um, but we're just going to kill him here, and uh, you can bribe him if you don't have Excalibur out when you enter the level, I believe is when it checks for that. So um, if you're like a Valkyrie with Excalibur, you can put that away when you're going to a new level, and if you see that it's Asmodeus, you can still bribe him away. Otherwise, he gets angry um, if you have Excalibur out. Same thing with Beelzebub. Um, they're both bribable because they're lawful demon princes slash lords um i would usually just bribe them but let's have some fun and fight them and you'll see we just cast a detect monsters and we got a you feel more confident in your spell casting skills so i'm gonna go ahead and enhance and raise our divination spells one tier do i have any other good divination abilities detect unseen Identify is the identify and magic mapping are both excellent divination spells. I don't have either of those, and I doubt we'll find much more spell books, so we probably won't end up getting any of those. I want to wish for a dang robe <laughs> so we could spell cast more, but I actually don't have many great spells. Uh, well, magic missile is awesome, so we're we're gonna make a lot of use of that at some point, I think. And because we have magic missile, I don't have a lot of power to use on it. But we could probably ditch the um, daggers that I've been carrying around. I'm just going to kind of wander through here. So the way this level is laid out, the, the prefab, Asmodeus' lair, is the same every time as in the middle. So you have to go either around the top or the bottom, and then around to this side. In the middle, there's a door to get into it, and you have to go back through it. So you can just go to either the top or the bottom of the map and there'll be a pretty straightforward route to get around to the other side. Oh, we still have liches to contend with. I think we may want to just genocide liches. Or do you guys want to keep liches? I don't know. I'm up for whatever. We'll, we'll keep the liches around for now. Wanna striking, I will leave it.
A lot of elves over here. So this will generally have a pretty direct path to the right because there's only a few rows that can actually make up the set of the map. I guess it doesn't have to connect directly. What I need to actually do is dig through at this point. Um, hungry. I actually didn't bring much food with me, which is unfortunate. Hopefully we'll find some more food rations. I think I left a bunch of them in the castle. Oh, something I remembered I wanted to do. Let's take out this Uncursed Scroll of Scare Monster. Um, push in a Holy Water. We dip those, so we now have a Blessed Scroll of Scare Monster. And here's a cool little trick. So you don't want to keep that scroll in your open inventory. Wow, taking this sack out of my bag encumbers me. You don't want to keep that scroll in your open inventory because it's susceptible to get burned and whatnot from traps, especially in Gehenna where there's fire traps all over the dang place. Um, but what you can do is put it in this bag that I just took out. Like so. And now with the tip command that was added in um, NetHack 3.6, I think. 3.6.0, yeah. You can tip the contents out of the bag. So I can, that scroll is safe, and now I can tip the bag and the scroll land on the floor. So it's a free one turn drop of, uh, of that scroll, which is pretty nice. Uh, I'm burdened again, so let's get rid of something. I don't need this mummy wrapping. Let's just drop it. That wasn't enough. Um, who needs floating eye meat? Still not enough. How the heck did I get so encumbered just from pulling a sack and a scroll out of my inventory? I even used up a potion. Was I burdened already? Looks like I picked up some gold too. Um, I can get rid of like all my gold, actually. The only thing I would really use any for at this point is if I wanted to, as I mentioned before, bribe these demon lords. And let me take gold out of my auto pickup types. Cool. And all right, unencumbered. Uh, Want to digging? Heck yeah! And I guess we're encumbered again. I'm gonna put that away. So the entrance should be like right here. Yep, there's a door. Attack that nymph. Sorry, Greg, or your ghost. A scroll to create monster. Uh, the invisible Irinius zaps a wand of digging. Okay, well she's gone. I'm taking the scroll mostly because I don't want a another monster to get it and to read it. So the lich is in here. Whoa! What just happened? The Demi Lich casts a spell, monsters appear from nowhere. So this Demi Lich is high enough of a level to cast Summon Nasties, and wow. Summon Nasties, it did. First of all, the Zrudi, our nemesis, uh, but also a Black Dragon and a Minotaur, and it's not a big deal. I'm going to see if I can kill the Minotaur. And let's go kill this Lich real quick. Wow, again. Okay, I think we're just going to genocide Liches. <laughs> I was going to tolerate this for a little bit, but this is going to be very annoying. Um, I think that Fire Elemental... Oh, it's not... I assumed it was neutral. I don't know if Nasties are ever neutral. Let's kill the Dragon. Uh, full Healing Potion. I will take... Wow. Oh, so that Lich has probably been running around picking up all the items on the ground. Um, so, Potion Full Healing, Enchant Weapon Scroll, and Potion Again Ability. Uh, let's just throw all that in the bag. It's probably going to keep us burdened. 
I'm actually going to take out... Just go ahead and bless the Potion of Gain ability. By the way, we're in a really good position. Look at all these potions of full healing. I don't even know how that like happened. I've, well, I can go a whole game without seeing 20 potions of full healing. It is insane. And these potions of gain ability didn't stack, which is interesting. Um, but we're going to use some up. Bless them. Okay, that one's already blessed because it won't get dipped in holy water. Um, so drink that. So we got stronger, smarter. Oh, it sounds like a Daft Punk song. <laughs> Um, stronger, smarter, wiser. Um, we already have max dex and toughness for our race, and we are charismatic. Sweet. I should help with our spellcasting a little bit, probably. And let's drink the other one. Cool. Same stuff. At this point, stats aren't that important. They're not going to make that much of a difference. But... Like I've been saying this whole game while we've been dragging around, burdened, and slow. Just use your resources if you need to. That's my favorite thing to do when I'm burdened. Um, all of our stuff is... Uh, fire resistance now. Fireproof. So, fire elemental... Just be dealt with in melee. Although he really just gets tickled by the, uh, the fire brand. What is this scroll? Scroll we haven't seen before. Probably charging. You guys want to find out? I have plenty. I guess I'll take out some more stuff. I have plenty of scrolls of identify, so I may as well use one for fun here. What are you? Hey, it's a charging scroll, I was right. I just know, um, I knew that was one that we haven't identified before, so that pool of unidentified or scrolls that we haven't seen yet is getting pretty small at this point in the game. Um, th that could very well be the last one, who knows. Uh, let's see what this one of digging has and the one of fire. Um, and that gain level potion was uncursed. This fire trap is always generated here, so don't walk forward when you get in here. Walk to the side. Where the heck did um, Asmodeus go? Did he escape downstairs? I, I assume he knew about us. What the heck? Did he escape upstairs? Oh, I bet you he... Huh. So when we entered the level around here, we heard a chugging sound. I bet you he drank a cursed potion to gain level, and now he's one level up, which is interesting. I don't think he would be anywhere else. And hang on, why am I burdened again? This is getting annoying. Um, okay. I'll put the Gauntlet of Power back on. And still cast all the spells that we've been using, which is actually just attack <laughs> monsters. Um, but also magic missiles, the one that I'd probably would use the most after that. Um, we can still cast all those with no failure chance, so everything is fine anyways. With those metal gauntlets and hindering our spell casting, but not really. Um, where is my detect monster spell? Um, speaking of Beelzebub, we found his level. So, his level's a little different, where you, the entrance on the left side, in the middle. Here is Zap, something crashed through the ground. That was the Ernius that from the last level. Um, she definitely zapped that again. That wand of digging, and fell back through the floor again. She hasn't had enough time to heal, so she's freaking out. 
They heard Tone was back in town and wanted to get the heck out of there. Wise move, Arrhenius. I have no idea if I'm saying that correctly. Uh, let's go ahead and put a blindfold on and cure this confusion. We have two monsters right here with um, gaze attacks. Uh, what else was on the ground here? Oh, 10. Uh, the Umber Hulk and the Pyrolisk. I was mostly concerned about the Pyrolisk. I do not want that ring. Boomerang. Iron bars there. Dead giveaway of Beelzebub's level. They might be the only iron bars in all of Gehenna. Roll Confused Monster. Let's just tuck that away. Um, lots of traps in this area. Unicorn Horn. Oh, hello, Green Slime. Kill that. Um, oops. I hit the wrong button. Actually, I used my number pad. Uh, so look, Beelzebub demands four Zork mids for safe passage. It's always a fraction of your the gold you have in your inventory. So if you have one gold piece in your inventory, that's the most it'll ask for. Um, so if you don't want to spend all your money, just hide most of it. But just keep a little bit of change in your pocket. Um, so curses takes weird input from the number pad sometimes, as you probably heard me say or seen before. Um, so I was actually just moving fast, but I guess if I en tried entering a value to offer him with my number pad, it would have screwed up anyways. So um, I apparently refused, and he got angry, so he's attacking us now. Went back up into this choke point. Uh, Beelzebub stares at you piercingly, and you stagger. So he does have a stun attack, which is really annoying. The Lich in here. Oh, nice. We blow up his healing potion. We might kill him. Ah, uh, barely. Got him pretty dang low. So what Beelzebub does now... See where the stairs are on the left over there? He runs to the stairs. He'll just keep hiding there. When he heals up, which will probably be a while because we knocked him pretty dang low. See that bullwhip? You gotta be careful if some of those demons have bullwhips. Um, because they'll pull your weapons out. If you're playing as fast as I am at the moment, they will go ahead and eh, I don't even want this. Uh, I guess I'll take the scroll in case I need to write more magic mapping later. Um, but I've had them rip my weapons out of my hands without me realizing it. And then like once I was in like Moloch's Sanctum, <laughs> I was like halfway across the level and I realized I didn't have any weapons anymore. Um, you feel clumsy, you've been working on your reflexes. Let's use our unicorn horn to fix that. This is a normal level. I'm just going to dig down like we've been doing. So this is another normal level, but look how wide these corridors are. These are actually easy. Oh, my lamp went out because I got eaten. So let's put that back on. You want to save scrolls? These are actually easy enough to navigate through. Uh, create monster, yeah, we should pick that up. But you can find the stairs here pretty dang easily, is what I'm trying to say. And without using a, a scroll. Chest. I'm curious what's in there. Spellbook, you say? Speaking of spellbooks, do we read sleep yet? I'm still carrying that around, right? All right, so let's bless this spellbook. Oh, Charm Monster! So Charm Monster is the tourist special spell. Every class has a special spell. Um, and I, I think all that really means is they get a bonus to casting it. And Charm Monster is really strong in this game because you can just start like turning everything into your allies. Um, 
So, wow, I was actually a little bummed out that we didn't get it because it's just so appropriate when you're playing Taurus. Because, um, like I just said at the beginning of the show, um, I don't know if we're really going to get many opportunities to learn more spells this game. So that's actually really cool that we got that. So it just feels so appropriate, it being our special class spell. Um, so we'll definitely have to make some use of that. Um, dang, I can't use the sleep spell book still. Whatever. Away you go. I'm just going to drop the charm monster spell because we are not going to forget that one uh, before the game ends. Trust me. Uh, let's auto travel here. And there's the stairs. See, pretty easy to find. No mapping required. A wand of nothing. You can actually polypile those. What's this one? One of striking. I'm just gonna leave that on the ground. Um. Oh. Top of the wizard tower. I was going to say the ones of nothing. I'm pretty sure you can actually polypile those. And they'll turn into other wands. Because they have like charges. And then you'll get uh, an actual usable wand with charges. I'm like 90 plus percent sure about that. I actually haven't done that in a while. Um, but I think it's a little tricky you can do with them. So they're not completely worthless. So this is the top of the... Uh, the Wiz Tower. It's a three um, floor tower in the middle of Gehenna. Um, so this is the top floor. And there is the Wizard of Yendor. Cool. This level is no teleport and it's non-diggable, so I can't actually dig it to the bottom here. So I'm going to have to use a scroll of magic mapping. And while I'm at it, so this guy is in like a, a room here that has a random secret door in it and takes, I don't know, sometimes it can take a while to find the secret door. So what I'm going to do, and what I like to do, is use a blessed magic mapping scroll when I map this floor. Let me bless my stat of scrolls, because blessed scrolls um, show you secret doors, which uncursed scrolls do not. So it's right here. This door could end up anywhere on this wall normally. So it can take a while to find sometimes. So I very much enjoy knowing where that door is. And our stairs are over there to the right. While I'm at it, I think we miss Vlad's. Because um, Gehenna started on level 29, so Vlad's, I believe, is on floors 9 to 13, are the ones it's eligible for. So that would mean from floor 37 to uh, 41? So, actually there's a few more eligible floors, so I won't go and try to find Vlad's yet. Um, oh, I gotta put these other scrolls away. And I like, since this is no teleport level, having the stairs this close to each other. All right, I can ditch this wand of digging. So the middle floor of the wizard's tower has a zoo in it. That's what all this stuff is. Oh, hi, Mind Flayer. Um, yeah, the Wizard of Endor is an animal lover. Who knew? Blue Dragon Scales, what are you? Minotaur? No one of digging. Shame. Alright, so let's map this level. So we can't dig down, and I don't want to explore it. Um, I don't see any Vlads here. Uh, another close stair. Very nice. Oops. Air trap. Very annoying. Um, I probably mentioned this before, but bear traps are... You have a, a better chance of getting free of them if you diagonally. Some weird quirk in the code. Um, so I'm 
you can't do that here, so you get stuck in them like a little longer than normal if you know about that trick. Um, I'm probably gonna dig out one of these sides, like here or here, next time I come through here, so I can just avoid that entirely. I levitating it over it is also an option. All right, I guess I need to eat something, so let me take out two K rations. And I auto picked up a potion of extra healing, so I'll put that away. Down we go. The bottom floor of the Wiz Tower. Um, got a beehive. Uh, no queen bee, interestingly enough. Uh, usually there is one. Uh, two liches. Um, but yeah, he's got a beehive in his tower. I don't know if he just likes honey or if this is like an unwanted infestation. Maybe he never comes down to the bottom floor. Let's clean up. Some bees just took habit. Who knows? Um, but we're going to go ahead and read another scroll of magic mapping here. Because same deal as the last two levels. Oh, I can't eat that scroll. I need to read it. So, um, level 41 here. And we have not found Vlad's. So I think we should go back and find Vlad's. Uh, what you'll notice, though, while we're here... Is that this is the bottom floor of the Wiz Tower, but there's no entrance. You don't actually get to, into the Wiz Tower here. There's a portal here, and there's two um, fake Wizard Tower levels that have like just little. It's actually just this prefab in the middle. This little staircase cross shape thing with a moat around it. There's two levels like that. One of them has a portal in the middle of it that takes you here, and those are deeper in the dungeon. Um, but I think we should go back up now. And what the heck? Oh. It tried to take me, the auto travel tried to take me around the trap. But a lot of pyrolisk down here. So it actually was going to take me like all the way around here. This is not that much longer actually. I don't think it's faster though. Um, so yeah, let's just dig around this thing. Probably the easiest way to deal with it. Uh, looks like this guy found that one of striking. So this level, what was the first one? 37? Which flads? Did we map the last floor? Probably did, I think. So Vlad's probably on this level. Blindness. I'm just gonna explore it, because like I said, this one's a pretty easy floor to explore. Water walking boots. Um, we already have a pair of those, I believe. And even if we didn't, there's a guaranteed um, pair in Vlad's. Yep, here's Vlad's tower. You climb the stairs. Wait, that's not Vlad's. Oh, I never mapped this floor. Oh, whoops, okay. I thought I came down the stairs here, but I actually dug down and I just found the downstairs, but not the upstairs. I take that back. Um, that obviously is not Vlad's. Uh, there's still a chance that his level is here. Lamp back on. So there's a slim chance that it's over here, but I don't feel like walking all the way back over there. Did I not explore that before? I guess I just didn't go in that direction, because I didn't realize it was just a few extra tiles there. Let's go up and read a ma uh, magic mapping scroll. See if Vlad's is on this level. So a lot of the times you'll find Vlad's tower, it, really about a 50% chance, depending... Uh, well, probably even higher than that, since I like to map all... Wizard floors, um, which is one of the floors that it tends to be on. Usually you end up finding it just doing your normal mapping if you're mapping through Gehenna like I am. Oh look, I picked up this one of nothing. How do I not have that in my pick auto pickup exceptions? Let's break it. Are you really sure you're going to break your wand of nothing? Raising your wand of nothing high above your head, you break it in two. 
But nothing else happens. What else were we expecting? And there's Vlad's tower. All the way over here. Let's see, how do I want to do this? And an iron golem posing as a statue. Iron golems are pretty cool. They have like acid breath or poison breath. They got they got breath attacks so. though. Stone golems. What's up with all these golems? All right, I'm just gonna dig through here. These stairs are pretty well connected. Um, got a shape changer here. Let's have some fun and find out what it is. I'll take off my ring of free action and put on this ring of protection from shape changers. Ah, the Sandestin. It's very rare you get to see one of these in their natural form. Dude, this thing is fast. Oh, they're not demons. My silver saber didn't do more uh, damage to it. Hang on. It is a major demon. They're, they're not silver hating though? Interesting. Can I... Uh, more info. Yes, I'm curious. Whoa, that's a lot of writing. I guess we can read it. Ildefonse? Jeez. First word. I already screwed it up, I'm sure. I uh, left the terrace and almost immediately sounds of contention came from the direction of the workroom. Um, they presently returned to the terrace, followed by Oshiral and a second Sandestin using the guise of a gaunt blue bird-like creature some six feet in height. And they spoke in scathing tones. Behold these two creatures. They can roam the chronoplex as easily as you or I can walk around the table. Yet neither has the wit to announce his presence upon arrival. Um, okay, I'm not actually going to read all that. Um, but yeah, fun um, flavor text when you examine monsters in NetHack. A little bit of background. I don't really know what a Sandestin is, but they are shape changers. So I guess we'll just kill that. They probably wouldn't have been that dangerous in their shape changing form anyways, but may as well just have them dead. Um, I'm just going to dig through here. Make my life easy. What is this? Minotaur? Let's go kill the Minotaur. Uh, ooh, got teased. Oh no, he did drop a wand of digging. Sweet. And here is Vlad's. You climb up the stairs. Um, the heat and smoke are gone. Vlad's is technically not Gehenna, so you can do fun stuff like Prey here. And I guess you can use Alberith? A bunch of stuff that you can't normally do in Gehenna. Um, there's a reprieve from the hellish Gehenna. Um, but yeah, this is Vlad's Tower, another three-story tower. Um, it's a fun one. And it seems like a good place to stop, so we'll explore Vlad's Tower next time. See you guys there.